Hi, my name is Zach Braff, and I feel so honored about being Conan O'Brien's friend. Thank you for reading that just as I dictated it to you <laughs> minutes ago. You know, it was so nice. Uh, you light up a room. I'm going to say that. Thank you. Uh, I had a Christmas party yeah. not long ago, and um, at the last second. I crashed it. Well, you didn't crash. A mutual friend yes. uh, revealed that he said, is it okay if I bring my friend Zach Braff? And I said, what do you mean, is it okay? <laughs> Who's unhappy to see Zach Braff? <laughs> Thank you. You are a very well-liked fellow. Well, it was a very fancy party. I mean, you have a lot of friends. I know the, the gag here is that you need a friend, but you have a lot of fancy friends. Well, that's, no, those are that's everyone who's done the podcast. <laughs> and when you sign the release, it says you have to go to my Christmas party. But it was really, uh, but I love the, the phrasing of, uh, is it okay if Zach Braff comes? Well, I, what happened was our mutual friend uh, said he was going, and I was like, wow, I love Conan, and I'm, I'm pretty sure after all these years, I, I have a pretty decent sense that Conan likes me, um, but I'm not invited. Ouch. <laughs> I'm not in <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been invited to the party. Because um, I, I didn't, I mean, first of all. No, I, I mean, we, yeah. don't, we don't hang out socially. We have a couple of times, but not yeah. that much. But anyway, so I said, I think I, and he goes, well, you know, obviously be respectful. I'll, I'll, I'll just call and ask. And, right. and, and, and I got a yes. And I was like, oh, well, now I got to look good for Conan. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> because I felt like it was a bit of an audition. You were like, wearing a gorgeous gown. No, I came in. <laughs> that Beautiful gown, silk. that was a contender for the Emmys. And I said, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I saw you and immediately we're hanging out. We're having a really good time. And uh, everybody was excited to see you. Yeah. Uh, well, I should I, point I said, out, yeah, yeah, of course. No, they were, were. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but I, I should say I keep saying our mutual friend, our mutual friend. We should reveal it's Mr. T. Mr. <laughs> T. <laughs> I wish it was Mr. T. It was. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if the three of us <laughs> just cruised around and it's, had fun? It's uh, it's Bill Lawrence who um, yeah. is uh, is an incredible friend of mine and mentor to me, and uh, he created Scrubs. He created one of the creators of Ted Lasso, and is one of the creators of this new show Shrinking and. He's he's one of my best friends and also uh, been a huge big brother mentor to me who is also your friend. Yeah, he's a very good man, extremely talented. Yes, very funny. Uh, great guy. And uh, yeah, so I was so glad that he brought you along and uh, that made me think, man, we got to grab this guy for the podcast. Thank you. And I left the party thinking I need more cool friends because I only have a few friends and they're cool. I love them. But like you have a lot of cool friends. Yeah, I guess. Or is that I'm, just a Christmas party and you're just really stacking it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's all stacked, <laughs> and, and you see that. Uh, most I hung out with Paul Rubens at your house. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I, every I've met Paul, and he's very sweet. He sends me a Christmas card and a birthday card every single year. Um, but I never hung out with him socially, other than to meet him. Very and sweet guy. Couldn't have been nicer. And he was at your house, and I was just like, I can't believe I'm like chilling with Paul Rubens. Also, the urge to call him Pee Wee is so strong. I, I don't. I ha no, I, and you have to call him. He is Paul. He's Paul Rubens, and you get used to that. But I'm, you know, I've been with him when people are like Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's not Pee Wee now. He's Paul. He yeah. becomes Pee Wee. I'm know? sorry, I did that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, like Pee Wee. I think you did, actually. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Did I? I don't think I did. No, I'm pretty sure you did. I loved, you were so I, I loved his show when I was when I was young. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was revolutionary. I had, the, I I had the doll that you pulled oh, the string. Yeah. I had yeah. Cherry that you put him in. Yes. Uh, well, also, it was so revolutionary because it was that show that you could watch on two levels. Yes, I mean, absolutely. You, there were kids watching it just loving Pee Wee, and then there were all of us watching it on this completely different level. Yeah. So subversive and cool. In a way, it was, uh, it was like kind of that before The Simpsons was that like right right I mean I, I, think I, feel, weird, I feel weird I feel weird telling you that but it's like it, it was a, it was an early thing that was kids will get it on one level adults will get it on another yes there's all kinds of stuff going on in The Simpsons that you now watch uh, you know I mean that's the that's the I think the secret and the Batman series of the 60s was the same thing yeah. where you can watch it wow Batman got the Joker but when you're a little older or they when you're you're seeing it and you're watching it and you're thinking oh my god the they're making all this commentary on right. all this insane stuff like that's going on in the world and instead of uh what is the mayor of Gotham is mayor linseed as in linseed oil mm -hmm. instead of yeah lindsay yeah. who oh. was the mayor of you know and, oh and it's God. also so campy which as a kid i didn't clock or understand no you don't understand that yeah. we're not meant to understand that yeah but now you watch it and it's hilarious because it's like he has bat shark spray on him when he, <laughs> just when they encounter the shark you know, I know, I know. <laughs>